for Devil's Lake Water Improvement District for fiscal years 2018-2019. Uh, today is May 10th, 2018. Um, let the record reflect that uh, budget committee members that are in attendance are Kent Norris, Tina French, Bill Sexton is not in attendance, Steve Brown is not in attendance, although he's expected to be here. Kathy Kramer is here. Susan Walke is here. Mark Christie is here. Miles Schlesinger is here. Larry Rich is here. And Mitchell Moore is here. Uh, the first order of business will be to elect a chairman of the budget committee. Do I hear uh, opening of nominations for chairman? Does anyone have an opening nomination? I'd like to nominate Mitch Moore. Uh, we have Mitch Moore as nominated. Do we have any other nominations for chairman? Any comments? Okay. I'll second it. Uh, all right. Uh, all in favor of Mitch Moore being chairman for today's meeting, signify by saying aye. 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 Mitch. You are you are it. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to do that. Uh, Mitch, we also have uh, testimony here. If, uh, sign up from one person. Okay. Was there an agenda for you? I didn't see an agenda. No, not for the budget committee meeting. For your meeting. Uh, yeah. Their meeting. <laughs> do we do the comments first? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Golly, what an honor. <laughs> um, Comfy seats. Yeah. So uh, we do have uh, Brian Green signed up for public comment. And <coughs> so, Brian. Thank you, folks, and uh, thanks for all your hard work. This is another clean, well written, easy to understand budget. <coughs> At least you'd. I think it was easy to understand. Apparently, I misunderstood a part of it yesterday. So, um, anyway, my my first uh, item is uh, just to request uh, what I think is a slight increase in the uh, allotment for uh, the the sewer item, and that would be from uh, twenty thousand dollars to perhaps forty. Um, my reasoning is that uh, if the uh, the board later today accepts uh, the, the sewer committee's proposal uh, to accept uh, a, a bid from Civil West uh, later today, that that by itself would, would wipe out the current uh, budget item. Um, there's been talk, well, they could be paid in advance in, in this year, but there's only six weeks left in this year and you know I don't think it's a great idea to be paying contractors in advance so I just offer that for your consideration um, I don't see uh, uh, other uh, tremendously large expenses um, that that uh, you might be asked to uh, uh, fund uh, but I think there should be some some uh, wiggle room between um, the amount of that proposal and uh, what's what's left in the budget. So uh, I'm suggesting that uh, forty thousand would be appropriate and uh, reasonable. I do. I want to clarify. I, apparently, the email I sent out yesterday was um, uh, misunderstood and, and probably my fault that it was misunderstood. Um, what I, what I got this morning was uh, basically people thinking that I was wanting to have a, uh, a budget item of, uh, of $130,000 or have it increased to $130,000 or increased by $130,000 for uh, the sewer. Uh, that was not my intent. I, um, when I read the budget, uh, I, I saw LB1 for materials and services was $180,000. Uh, LB11 was uh, uh, materials and services is the improvement fund. Uh, materials and services now is 50000 And uh, 
when I start reading the LBs, my eyes start to glaze over, and I didn't get the LB31, which was the other 130,000. I and I thought that well, maybe there's a uh, there's uh, an, uh, sort of a uh, an unappropriate balance in the improvement fund of uh, of 130,000. The difference between 50,000 uh, and and the hundred the total of 180 for the whole thing. And so that's why I threw out the question, does this mean that uh, there's another 130000 in the improvement fund for not just sewer, but for vegetation management and, uh, and the other item in materials and services in the, in the improvement fund uh, watershed protection? So, um, uh, and of course, if there was another 130000 I wouldn't be here today because that'd be way more than, than I would anticipate that we would need. And, and uh, so I just want, I mean, I, I don't want you people to think I'm completely crazy and, uh, and asking for, uh, for that, much, uh, that, that much money. But I do think that for the reasons I st uh, stated that uh, an increase from uh, 20 to 40,000 would be uh, appropriate. That, uh, we're still in the improvement fund, which I, I think your item for uh, unallocated expenditures, the, the bottom line item is, is like 265,000. That would reduce it to 245. Um, not not a big. Uh, I don't think not a big deal in the in the great uh, in the grand uh, scheme of things, and and I don't think it's it's really necessary to set yourself up for a. Uh, a supplemental budget process if we if you do see fit to uh, uh, fund any additional sewer expenses uh, just by having that item drawn down uh, drawn down to zero even if the supplemental budget process is simple it seems like it it could uh, could and should uh, be avoided under uh, under these circumstances so thanks appreciate you listening to me and uh, thanks for all your good work. One, one question, Brian. Sure. Does that come from the actual committee? Did they vote on that, or is that from you personally? That, that's from me personally. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying. I meant to say that. I, yeah, I'm not speaking for the, uh, for the sewer committee. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Okay, Josh, I kind of made up an agenda here. <laughs> So the next item on my agenda is presentation of the budget. Did I get it close? I think I think that's it. That's kind of the task of the hour. Um, we'll start this year on about page five. I'll run through some of the narrative here pretty quick. Not not many of these things have changed. Most of the um, goals in our budget mes message are consistent with previous years. Uh, we're all aware of those with conversations throughout the year at all the board meetings, and that's generally what that is, is just a summary of those things. Um, water quality, recreational opportunities, economic impact on the area, and in short. Um, our major variances from the previous year, uh, operations are staying uh, somewhat the same. I'll get into those as we go through the line items. Uh, but the district has decided to continue with the uh, aeration oxidation project to abate potential future algal blooms and uh, nutrient buildup in the lake sediments. As a result of that, there's been a substantial amount more money set aside this year in our budget to the tune of approximately $140,000 um, to take us up to that uh, total of about $150,000 cap that we have set on the project at the moment. Uh, and that is because we also have a $10,000 grant from the Sluts Tribe uh, to put against that project as well, which takes us to the $150,000 total amount project-wise. Um, the Can only I ask a quick question sure, just right. to clarify that? Um, is there any time limits on the um, the amount of money from the Celeste Tribe, their grant, as far as what when we have to spend that by? Within a year of the grant. So, we, yeah, we received that grant, I believe, about 8 to 12 weeks ago, uh, give or take. So we're well within our time frame of the project, and that project is set to take place in approximately October of this year. So uh, we should have more than enough time to complete our post-grant reporting. So, Thank you. <coughs> Okay. 
Let's start and skip to page. Page seven. Mr. Chair? Seven. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Chair, may I ask a question? Of oh, go ahead. Um, at the top of page six. Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Brian. Josh, at the top of page six, I just want clarification. You talk about anticipated revenues by June 30th. I think you mean this year? June 30th, 2017. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I would yeah. think that the, the revenues through June 30th, 2017 wouldn't be anticipated anymore. Correct, Susan. <laughs> An okay. oversight. I'll take All care right. of it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, is there anything else on, on page six that's just a, a general description of um, the category line items and the, the LB form sheets? And I think we're all pretty well familiar with what those are for at this point, so if there are no questions on those. We'll, we'll go ahead and go to the line item detail uh, starting on page seven. Okay, so let's look at our transfers and contingency section. Um, we generally have or have had in the past a surplus of money to carry over to the next year um, or put into the improvement fund. Um, what we did last year was we put approximately $18,000 in the improvement fund, I think, and this year we're going to put approximately $22,000 in the improvement fund. And that's just to fund uh, future projects and initiatives set forth by the, the public and the board. So it's a place to... <coughs> keep those funds for future expenditure. <clears throat> Our contingency this year was set at about $5,000. Um, the reasoning behind that is, is we typically have a surplus at the end of the year. Uh, we may have to look a little bit harder at that during next year's budget cycle as we'll have a capital improvement of the aeration project in, and that's going to require some operations and maintenance as well. So we may have to set a slightly higher contingency. But currently, right now, $5,000 should cover that. And that's for uns un for Go ahead. No, I, I was, I was going to let you finish, but I, I was noticing the transportation fund in the past, it's covered both truck and boat purchase in the future. And I know we purchased a truck this last year, um, but as we put away money for the future, I think um, I would add after that district boat and truck purchase uh, instead of just the boat that was there. Okay. Um, because I think that we still, even though we have a new truck, we still need to plan ahead for a truck, even though I, I don't think we'll need one. For, I hope not for a few years. <laughs> sure. And then our boat uh, is pr currently adequate. Um, that might be the only change as if we have to do things in the future differently. Certainly. Okay. Our UEFB again this year uh, is part of the general fund, and what that is is a cushion between years for us to cover operational expenses uh, and just in the event that tax revenue is late or, or severely reduced for any apparent reason. Um, like I said, once again, it's $100,000 just as it was in previous years. Our total materials and services, which are on form uh, LB31 and LB30. Excuse me, Josh, before, yeah. you, before you move on that, I wanted to back up just one page before you started on 7 to 6, and just to have you note, um, and, and maybe even suggest the addition uh, to, to make it clearer, but we had talked about um, that you should have the same staff with the intern and everything that you have in years past, but that now, rather than uh, those other two bodies, portion of the bodies being in contractor category, it's now just within personnel services. Okay. Yeah. And so it's nothing's changed except for where the money is Correct. Uh, being identified, but I think it would be worth one sentence in there that just sort of described that so yeah. that anybody looking at that line item would know why there's a difference. Make that change. Because it looks fairly significant, but it's really not. It's the same as last year. Also, didn't we, in that, uh, for personnel services, we budgeted for um, last year, um, uh, Tom, we budgeted for four hours a week, and as we move into this next fiscal year, we're budgeting him for eight hours a week because of anticipation of 
our project and everything um, and being <coughs> intimately involved in that. That is, that is correct. Can make those changes. <coughs> um, back to page seven, materials and services. We're looking at the general fund, and we're about 130,800 this year, which is a couple thousand more than last year, uh, but not by very much. So just like you were saying, we're pretty much exactly where we were um, as far as that expenditure is concerned out of the general fund, and that's that's our our general operational expenses, salaries, personnel services. Our accounting costs um, it went up slightly, but not very much. I budgeted eleven thousand dollars worth this year uh, to cover the uh, bookkeeping services from our bookkeepers, Lisa, <coughs> and uh, our yearly financial review as well, which costs around four thousand dollars, but uh, can fluctuate a few dollars here and there. <coughs> I did set a $6,000 budget for a consultant uh, in case we need any additional help or analysis uh, as we move through the aeration project, in case there's some type of equipment or something that we're not capable of, like sediment cores or, or something that a regulatory agency might possibly want um, done. So <clears throat> Our elections are the same as they have been. We have um, a zero allocation one year and a $1,900 allocation every other year. It essentially comes out, of course, to $950 per year, but we're billed bi-yearly for that. So that's the reason for that split. <clears throat> Our equipment O&M will include um, Estimates for electricity and maintenance on the aeration oxidation project, which also includes our Airstream unit, which we've been operating throughout the year um, when we have to uh, tap into an electrical box to be able to get the power to that unit to operate it, um, and just the general maintenance of the unit itself, because it does have to be maintained um, every now and then as constantly operating in water equipment, uh, and the electrical costs associated with that as well. <clears throat> Our erosion and sediment control budget is set at $1,000 this year. Um, this initiative is tied in with our aeration oxidation project and some other projects that we're considering at the moment. Um, so the budget's fairly low at this moment. Our insurance and bonds are approximately $2,900 a year, which I believe is essentially the same as it was last year, give or take about $100, I believe. Uh, so no major changes there. <coughs> Our lake level management has $16,000 appropriated. <coughs> that covers our lake contractor contract at $6,000 a year and up to $10,000 for things like storm debris removal, uh, dam repairs, unforeseen circumstances that, that occur uh, regularly given the harsh environment. Our legal services in the past have not been very high. They've been allocated at about 21, at 2150 this year. <clears throat> and that's based on contracted rates. Our monitoring this year is down significantly. Uh, I believe we were at twelve to $16,000 last year and we're at $8,600 this year. Uh, given what we spent in this past year on those monitoring supplies, we we're able to kind of get a better a better handle on what we we're planning on spending the next year, given the changes to our, our sampling regime. Um, so that cost has came came down substantially for us, which is good. Our nutrient control budget, once again, is uh, similar to the erosion and sediment control category, uh, because that initiative is going to be tied in with the aeration oxidation project as well. So there is zero budgeted for that this year. Uh, we have to run that line item through and keep it on the budget until it cycles out, uh, because previous years it has had money budgeted towards it. So we can't just take the line off. We still have to describe it. Um, if for some reason we want to put money back into that, we can and keep it on the books. But uh, my recommendation is to let it slide off the budget and it'll be a part of our, our other line items just to clean it up a little better. <coughs> Excuse me. Our office operations cover our rent of our office at Oregon Coast Community College, office supplies, toner ink, uh, furnishing, IT services, telephone, um, 
you know, cloud, store, cloud storage, software, hardware, uh, everything we need to operate the office. Uh, that appropriation is set at $25,300 this year. Uh, public relations costs associated with outreach, education, conference attendance, uh, the district holding its monthly meeting here at City Hall, uh, anything we televise or, or publicize our, um, our public meetings notices that we are required to put out legally uh, to the newspapers, the fees associated with that are also into there and those are described on LB31, uh, total of $14,500 assigned this year. Uh, training continued education um, for the board and staff is set at $750 this year. Our transportation costs are significantly down as we do not have to reserve a large amount of money for potential vehicle repairs. Um, having a vehicle that's closer to the end of its life. Having a newer vehicle, we are still under a, a warranty for the next couple of years, which is very nice. So we're able to not have to allocate uh, that much money to this budget. So we're set at $4,000 this year. That'll cover fuel, basic oil changes and maintenance for the vehicle. Our vegetation management control budget has increased uh, substantially um, in the general fund and both in the improvement fund, we're still speaking about the general fund here, uh, has went to $10,000 this year uh, due to the fact that we lost a large amount of the, the grass carp in the lake that have been controlling the vegetation to date um, due to the sea lion infiltration uh, <laughs> earlier in the year. <coughs> but we did lose quite a bit of the population. It seems some of them are coming back. We're seeing a little bit more activity from them, but we, from what we see, it's, it's been severely reduced. In addition to the fact that those, the fish are at the end of their lifespan as it is. So we anticipate that um, vegetation will be taking more of a foothold very soon, especially without the grazing pressure from those uh, from those fish. So we want to make sure we reserve enough money to have on tap for whatever options we might need to control the vegetation, which is, of course, the, the reason the district was founded initially. Uh, moving on, still on page nine, we're looking at the improvement fund. <clears throat> the district expects to have $430,000 available in the improvement fund at the end of 2017-2018, our current budget cycle, uh, with interest of $6,000 and expected transfer of $22,000 from the general fund. The improvement fund will then have approximately $458,000 available for appropriations. Move on to form LB11. We do not have any debt service out. Uh, organized in the same way as we are in the general fund, basically. We'll go to page 10. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we've reserved a large amount of money uh, for our capital outlay project out of the improvement fund for the aeration oxidation project. Um, uh, as I described earlier, that appropriation is set at $140,000. And that's minusing the hundred or the ten thousand dollars we had received from the Selets tribe to support the project, which takes the project total to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. And our capital outlay number on that is one hundred and forty thousand um, dollars. Also, as I mentioned earlier, in the general fund, in the improvement fund, we've set aside a substantial amount uh, more money for vegetation management as well. We set aside $20,000 this year. Um, a, a good portion of that, uh, one of the options we have on tap is to be able to hire a contractor who would come through uh, at intervals or once or twice a year if vegetation really does take off in the lake before it becomes a huge issue, if we really start having problems with invasives. So we can have that money available to tap into um, in case we need to have a contractor come and remove that quickly. Oh, you can have like a contractor come with a mechanical I found harvester? Them. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. There's a couple of them. I had a, a meeting with them a few weeks ago and uh, they do a lot of work. Uh, they, they've worked in Tahoe Keys and some of the larger developments and things around uh, that we've kind of modeled some of our, our uh, goals and issues on. So. Right. <clears throat> we have $20,000 set aside for the sewer um, program this year. Uh, Devil's, Lake has, Devil's Lake Water Improvement District has supported the initiative of, of sewering the east side of the lake for <clears throat> the better part of its history uh, and that's what it has been set at this year. Uh, we can of course support that and, and other programs as well with, with grant monies throughout the year if there are particular projects that we are pursuing within those categories. Um, the language on that, Josh, I think the last line 
um, is left over from when we had the se septic committee. I think you're back. correct. Yeah. Thanks, Tina. Revise that. <clears throat> Next lines are Save Our Shorelines Committee. Um, you've had a lot of a, a lot of um, great work started to to spring forward uh, from last year with a uh, floating garden test plot and uh, a few other things that we've had going on. Uh, this year we're going to do um, uh, planting day uh, and test several different species of plants in the water and the shoreline and see what see what areas take and what we can do so we can start working towards that initiative as well. Uh, that app, or allocation has been set at $7,500 and that will cover mainly the cost of plants and uh, materials to protect them as they go in the water. So I had a question. I had called you earlier and asked specifically about this. Can you tell us what our last two years expenditure was in this area? Our last year, I'm sorry, what? Staging for the plant planting? For this year's project. For the coconut project. stuff on the bottom of the plants, you know? Okay, we're going to stage, get everything together, the supplies we need and everything uh, on the 14th and on Wednesday at 10 o'clock we'll meet at camp and go to each site and do the planting. I, Josh, I don't think we spent any money the previous year. No, I, I, don't, I don't think we really did. I know we had some it would be under $500 if we had spent anything. Um, and, and I think some of the reasoning from that is we've uh, moved kind of in a different direction in the SOS committee, um, kind of a, a more of a direct role in figuring out how to vegetate the plants instead of the projects themselves because some of the projects didn't have uh, the best success rate as they went in. Um, and I can't spend a lot of time working with um, the Department of State Lands and some other agencies as well, which definitely contributed to the fact that some of those projects didn't get um, instituted as timely as, as they, they could have to have a higher success rate. Um, so we, we, have, we have shifted to um, not providing uh, the grants, I don't believe, to property owners. We haven't had any. We've had, yeah, we've had very little interest to none uh, in people approaching us for that. So um, we really didn't make those large expenditures the past year. For sure. No, and I appreciate that. And I think it's a worthy project. My only concern is, and I shared this with you, and it actually you can wind this back to the transportation budget for either a boat, um, <coughs> motor, trailer, car. You know, we need to know what, what that number is for the replacement vehicle and then go, you know, go towards that. If we aren't, I mean, if we've already reached that dollar amount in my opinion I, I don't think it makes sense to continue to put money in a fund when it's already funded and you're just continuing to put money in it and even a, a fund like this is worthy as it is um, if the expenditure on a yearly basis is you know fifteen hundred dollars instead of seventy five hundred dollars in my opinion it doesn't make sense for that budget period to budget <coughs> seventy five hundred dollars if you know you're going to spend 1500 so that's my only comment with both of those uh, areas sure. not that they aren't worthy because they are <laughs> Josh what did we end up spending on plants most recently and materials for do you have any ballpark figure yeah the total on that invoice is approximately seven hundred and eighty dollars for a hundred and twenty plants and then we bought um, <coughs> Some, some materials, and yeah, and materials and stuff too. So it's about a, under a thousand dollars. Yeah, right around everything. a thousand okay. dollars. Thanks. No problem. Our education and communication uh, line item is set at twenty five hundred dollars this year, and that's for the updated of the Devil's Lake plan. Josh, 
my understanding is Tom has been working on that uh, periodically over the course of the last year, but I think that the board in the in the this next year wants to see that come about as as far as a new document, and and so Tom's been I don't know what his plan is as as far as finishing it, but I know he's been working on that. Is that kind of the idea? Is that we we have a new plan this year and correct uh, that. At, the, at the very least we we plan to um, we intend to revise the current Devil's Lake plan um, updated information and things that we've learned since then uh, I mean even the the dissolved oxygen issue we found on the bottom of the lake has been confirmed and isn't incorporated into that plan yet because it just hasn't been updated so that's correct we are putting resources towards uh, making that plan a little more contemporary We currently do not have any fish and wildlife uh, initiative dollars allocated from the improvement fund this year because so we have no projects uh, geared towards that that aren't already covering it. And once again, this um, this line item is going to be covered by our aeration oxidation project as far as um, the money to be expended. I think there, uh, just a quick note, this would be another one that Susan brought up. It says 217, 218, so I think that we should change that to 218, 219. Thank you. Go down to uh, material and services section. Uh, bank fees. We have a total of $120 budgeted. There's a monthly service charge, and there are some various other fees associated with our banking activities. Uh, so that's why we're set at that. Uh, in past years, it's been around $100 a year. <coughs> Our watershed protection uh, category has been identified above, includes monies for work on saver shorelines, education, communication. That total is $10,000, which is just those two line items totaled together of $7,500 and $2,500. And once again, our vegetation management control at $20,000 from the improvement fund. Uh, we do not have any funds allocated from the improvement fund for consulting uh, as we don't have any projects which require that at the moment. Uh, contracting from the improvement fund once again uh, will be wrapped into the aeration oxidation project cost in that line item so we don't have any separate monies coming from the improvement fund for that. Uh, fish and wildlife as well as described before we don't have any projects with any money allocated towards them this year that aren't being addressed by um, other projects at the moment. <coughs> we talked about our district vehicle uh, briefly. <coughs> we purchased a new vehicle this year, so money was expended from the transportation fund, approximately $26,000 towards the truck after trade-in to buy the new district vehicle. <coughs> Some monies are still being set aside for the purchase of a district boat. Uh, we're not completely certain what all O&M activities we're going to need to do and what capabilities we're going to need as far as maintaining our aeration oxidation system. So we're currently holding off on the purchase of a boat. We may need something a little larger, a pontoon boat, something with a deck. Um, I don't know. We may be absolutely fine with what we still have as a district boat. Currently, the district boat is running fine and is, is suiting our needs with, with no issues. So for this budget year, we plan on keeping and maintaining that and do not plan on buying a new boat this year unless um, we need to have that discussion for some apparent need. As I described earlier, we plan on taking $22,000 into the improvement fund from the general fund from our, <coughs> from our revenue sources. Uh, we do not have any improvement fund uh, monies approved for capital outlay for equipment. Uh, there's nothing we plan on buying out of that category. Okay, so. Got it. Uh, we also do not have any money appropriated for grass carp as we've had the discussion as we did last year. Um, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife won't consider another appeal even until after we have a couple years of data post aeration. Uh, we do not have any debt service at the moment, so that is zero, uh, which leaves us $265,000 to $500 reserved for future expenditures in the improvement fund. 
Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, we do not plan on making any uh, transfers in from the improvement fund this year. And when we do uh, plan on buying a boat, we're estimating between twenty-five and forty thousand dollars for a boat. And I believe after this year, uh, appropriating five thousand dollars towards the transportation fund uh, will put us at approximately thirty thousand dollars reserved in that fund for the boat. So we're coming up to the top end of where we believe we may need that funded. So, don't you need to keep continuing to build that fund though to replace the vehicle? I think that's a discussion we will have. Yeah, I, um, well, I I think that needs to be an ongoing type expenditure, a budget item. And then if the last uh, line in that paragraph, once full funding has been obtained, the district can discontinue annual, annual ongoing funding. It seems like we're going to always have um, something to buy eventually. It could be 10 years down the road, but um, I'd like if we could take that last line out in that paragraph. It's the same amount, right? I know that as I look at our, um, our balance sheet for April, we have almost $27,000 in the transportation fund. So if we add another 5,000 into it, we'll be at 32, close to $32,000 at the end of this, or um, at the start of the fiscal year approximately so at the end at, yeah at this at the start if we add five thousand dollars to it so we're almost no, July 1st is the start right 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 or yeah I guess beginning or end whatever way you want right to so you're recommending that right so if we determined a useful life for uh, the pickup truck in our boat have we mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It probably would, wouldn't be. <laughs> well, and it's, it sounds like <coughs> probably in this next year as you go through the aeration project, by the time you get to the next year budget, you would have a pretty much better idea of what kind of a boat you might be interested in. Correct. And so I would suggest next year that, that you might be trying to actually refine that twenty to 40000 range down to Whatever. closer to what it might be, and then we'll sure. know you'll know whether it's on or off at that time but <coughs> I mean you know what you know and you don't what you don't but Correct. to the extent you can can we should we add a line for vehicle replacement costs or just leave it as one line item I think one line item is fine one line item is okay too it's worked so far for us and it was you mean as far as the transfer so well no but I mean we've always put aside five thousand dollars and in essence we've been trying to put aside $2,500 for each. Um, and last year we purchased our vehicle for what? It was about 27000 I believe. Yeah. And right. um, although we don't buy a new vehicle every year like Mark does, but, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. I knew I, knew I was going to get we're, we're more like on the 10, 12 year cycle. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I was, that's where I was kind of going. Correct. But that's still not enough. No, I mean, that's right. If we put a, aside twenty five, and in ten years year, they're not going to be twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five thousand dollars in ten years, and so, um, yeah, I don't think it's. Uh, we may end up having to increase that in at some time in the future, depending on what our needs are, how how rapidly vehicles go up. And I think that's all good, but this is the type of discussion we need to have, so that everyone understands what that you know, line items all about right. and why we're doing what we're doing. Yes. But to be clear, I guess what I'm thinking you're recommending is that um, basically it's line six of uh, LB11 that, uh, that that there'd be not only bo boat, but there would be uh, a $5,000 transfer for vehicle as well. Well, yeah, it, it make that category both boat and vehicle. Um, well, that's what it's been in the past. Well, last year there were two line items the show okay just the way it's, that's the way the forms written right now so okay and then you can look back and see there's five for each last year and five for now but you could change the name of it so do we we not want to fund the vehicle this year 
I think we do. I think we need to plan ahead. Because it's at zero, right? The vehicle, I, I mean, I, I, did we split them off? Yeah. Right. I guess just. So the proposed budget says zero. Am I looking at the wrong spot? I, you know, it does say zero, like six. on LB. Six. Uh, six line six proposed of LB 11. By yeah, the transfer. Yeah. Okay. So that I would become 5,000 yeah. there. If this is what's recommended anyway, yeah, that's where I would see. I think that's where you're saying put it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it won't it won't change any totals or anything. I could split that up to 2,500 and 2,500 again. Is that what I, we're? I think that's what I would like. Want to do? I think that's sufficient for this year, but next year I think it needs to go up okay. because we're not going to be able to replace a vehicle in 10 years at 2,500 dollars a year. Okay, I can do that. That's a different understanding than what I was saying back to you. So okay, right. so. 25 and 25. That, that's that's, that's my that's Perfect. my recommendation. Okay. Well, we may Ooh, never need another boat, we, but we certainly will need another vehicle at some point if we choose to go that route. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I really. Remember where you were? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I was at the end. At the uh, end. Yeah. Uh, the the last thing to address is uh, our LB50 forms, which are our tax levy and our certification of taxes uh, to impose the tax this year. Uh, and we do plan on imposing our full rate both inside and outside of our boundary, um, which gives us approximately uh, $270,000 anticipated tax revenue for the upcoming budget year. I'm sorry, uh, $250,000 anticipated revenue from taxes this upcoming year. Um, if anyone has any other questions or would like me to elaborate on any of the budget categories. Which is exactly what I was going to say, if there's any discussion on <laughs> it. Um, I had one point. Um, Brian brought up in his uh, opening, you know, changing from <coughs> 20,000 to 40,000 um, for. Increasing it by 20 to 40. Right, right. right. Um, and I know that in the um, sewer committee um, meeting that we had not too long ago, um, uh, within the last few hours, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, that was that was brought. Uh, in essence, those that issue was brought up and. Um, uh, in our discussion, we talked about if we left it at 20 um, and didn't raise it, uh, that we could do a supplemental budget. And so I guess from uh, what my recommendation is, is from this uh, committee, is that we go forward with the $20,000 that's currently budgeted and that if the board chooses to um, need to uh, do a supplemental budget to raise that amount um, I'd say that they do it at that time at, at this point we feel like there's um, at least I feel like there's uh, monies available for taking on that project whether we pay for it if, if for some reason we were to pay for it in this budget year which we have it budgeted for um, we could do that and then we'd have the extra money available if we hit um, Budgeted that was our that we had already spent on the project, so basically we didn't be increasing that. But I feel like um, we, as a board, um, were taking the, the proper steps to to be able to fund that um, instead of an open-ended type budget that um, we'd put forth. So I recommend we um, that this committee go ahead and. Um, uh, recommend that we keep that $20,000 as is, although I appreciate Brian's thoughts on those things. Well, and actually I, I can concur because um, something I've been advocating for years with the, with the water district budget is, is, is I think happily really there now, which is, you know, public budgeting process is supposed to 
um, let the public know what money you're going to spend during the year. And so I think you've done a really good job of that here where the money that you put in this budget you have a purpose for and you intend to spend it. I mean, maybe it won't go that way, but it's your true intent. These are really going to happen, these things. And, uh, and then there is the supplemental budget process for when you have things that you have not foreseen, and it's really not too difficult of a process. So it's very much like this. Uh, we just talk about it, put it before the board, and the board approves it. That's just the public has to be advised. So th this budget really, really does a good job of defining what the, the district's going to do during the year. And I, um, uh, there's not um, big numbers that may not get spent. It's pretty right down to the mark. So I want to kind of applaud that. Thank and it also kind of lends to what your recommendation is. So other comment? I'd just like clarification um, from what Brian said. It sounded like um, there's 20,000 in this year's budget, the current year budget, that there's 30, sorry. May or may not be spent. Is that that here? There's actually, I believe, thirty thousand dollars, and um, we may not be able to spend it because we're just in the process of deciding um, the scope of the project that we want have to have done. And I think tonight at our next meeting, um, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll we'll choose to move forward with that or not, and um, to what extent, and then, uh, but. There's only six, approximately six weeks left in this fiscal year, and so we may not be able to spend it. But we may be able to spend some of it. Right. We may be able to spend some of it, and um, we're this this twenty thousand dollars would cover um, what, in uh, essence, we've talked about uh, in in general for what we're looking for from that uh, report slash project. Thank you for the uh, I don't understand if the 20000 that's being spent this year, uh, can we, uh, doesn't that roll over to next year's budget? Uh, It'll affect your ending fund balance. Okay. If you don't spend it, or if you spend it. We have no plans to spend it unless uh, the bills come in. Well, yeah, its purpose was slightly different, though. I mean, but I think it could be, you know, interpreted to be used for this. I mean, it was actually going to be um, for uh, consumer grants and things like that that just didn't, things didn't happen to make that happen. But with the idea of maybe the LIDs and helping people hook up to sewer that is there already. but. Um, and septics and so forth. So, but if I, I, I think Miles will have whether we spend some this fiscal year or we spend it all next fiscal year, we have allocated the twenty thousand dollars that will need to cover that type of project that was discussed earlier today. See, um, see my concern is it's a long-term project, very long-term. I think. And I think that we are going to be stuck with the fear that I think Mitch has that it's going to be too expensive unless we get certain grants. And I think the extra funds can be used in looking for those grants to lower the cost before we uh, uh, take it to the property owners that uh, are affected by that are going to have to vote to uh, create a entity to operate the sewer system. Part of Civil West's proposal is is to look for those miles. Yeah, but it, I think it's going to be a long. I uh, sure, uh, and I mean, if that comes along, we can always do a supplemental budget to pay for that if, if the district decides that that is appropriate. We can do a supplemental budget at that time. Just to go through what the supplemental budget, as I understand it, and please correct me, those who have been more budget this, but it, the biggest difference there 
is uh, it's, it, it's only different from a normal board meeting in, in trying to move funds in the budget um, in the fact that you need to provide notice. You have to go through, and it's a very specific, and I don't want to say it, pretty much the same as this budget hearing, I believe. Mm -hmm. So you have to. Very similar. So it's really just two notices in the newspaper about the meeting that you're going to talk about it and do it in. And then, and then they do it. So they can change the budget really quite easily. And uh, it's just, I don't think it's something to be afraid of. And if there is something concrete that the committee brought to the board and they wanted to do it, they, they would just need to basically run a couple ads in the news guard and that's, and you're, and you're good to go. And there's only a dollar amount that triggers that process. 15%, I believe. Yeah, so that's quite a, I mean, yeah. th there's a lot of uh, flexibility in that number notice and go through that process. So. And then if there was grant money that came in, which has been talked about, um, to try and get what we would call gifts or grants, um, the district could process that without a budget at all, and then that could be used. They could be kind, if the board is willing to be the banker on that, if you will, take the funds, and, and as long as they're used for the purpose that they were given, there's no need for a supplemental budget either. So there's a couple different ways it can be done and they're all in the realm of the things we've been talking about so it just it's just a call the newspaper yeah <laughs> it's the same as we always do which okay, is a cost um, it's not not go ahead. like a <laughs> well it's not quite like, that like easy, a free ad it's, <laughs> it's yeah. not a it's free not ad. a free ad but it's <laughs> not it's it's really not that bad i think they're 26 dollars they're likely i would if it's needed it's worth doing and then you go forward. So again, I go back to 15%. There's quite a bit of yeah. There's a lot there, of there's, a, there's yeah. a cushion in there, and I can't imagine. Yeah, that we also, get to that point. if we could get the donation. Line item? No, I think it's 15% of that. Total budget, material and services, mm -hmm. yeah. or no, the total. Budget. Oh, the total budget. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, like I say, grant if we get that going, uh, which is what we've talked somewhat about. Yeah. Um, I. <coughs> I guess it would be good to summarize what we think or what, what you think has been recommended to you. I know a couple that I caught. There's about six text edits and mostly the year that's called out um, of the, the loss of a line in the um, error, no, what was it? Septic. Septic. Sewer. Yeah, the last line of the that. The inspection portion. Um, the splitting of the um, transportation, two, yeah, vehicle and boat. Of yeah. the, uh, then <laughs> um, we didn't discuss it, but as printed, um, I pointed out a couple items um, that they, they aren't changed in this copy, right? No, yeah. no, we should be that the same. They are just uh, sort of math things on um, LB1 uh, related to the transfer and uh, and one of the LB30s uh, to make those balance, but it really doesn't change the budget, and Josh has those down, so uh, just to make things balance out. Um, did I did I miss anything that you think? 13, last sentence removed. Yeah. On the transportation? Oh, yeah, page 13, the discontinuance of the fund. Mm -hmm. was, um, and I'm not sure if yeah. you mentioned on page seven to add truck along with boat. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had changes to dates on pages six, eleven, and twelve. Yeah. Very good. Um I guess uh, I don't know the exact form of the budget. I can't remember, but it's something to the effect of that this this uh, this committee is recommending the budget as I guess modified to the board, something like that. I don't have the form of it, but if somebody would get that point. So with the with for. the said changes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, anybody would like to. Uh, I recommend that we um, approve the budget as presented with the uh, stated changes made um, 
and move forward uh, with the um, assessment uh, inside the boundary and outside the boundary, which would end up being at the point two four nine nine rate and point one two eight rate. That's a pretty specific motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is two different. Right. No, there are. Um, and this is recommending to the board. Yes. Okay. I second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? You want to give directions to the next meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be too tough. Uh, any other any other business before the committee? Uh, I'd just like to make a comment. Uh, going through the budget committee in the last couple of years, I uh, want to compliment uh, Josh on uh, streamlining the process. I uh, met you were a big part of that uh, uh, last year and uh, the year before. And I think uh, what we've done is made something that's understandable. Uh, to the public uh, and uh, accurate and I think uh, you know the transparency has to be there and the accuracy has to be there and uh, thank you for putting it in layman terms and uh, on you know 20 pages or so versus a book uh, we appreciate it and I know that the public does too it, my pleasure thanks Steve I wanted to congratulate Josh on um, from last year to this year on the, the typos and the misspellings and stuff. I accused him of going to night school, but I don't know how he did it. But it was so much better this year than last year. Just just to see he wasn't shaking as he was typing. Just, just, just yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't prepare the budget at 3.30 in the morning while I was texting Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, is, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes. I. Aye. 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 See you in Thank you. Thank an you. hour. Uh, and you even have time for it. <laughs> I'm in the corner. Are you going to try traffic? Thank you. Uh, no, are you going out that way? I can, I can go around. Uh, just enough time to run the guy out with that beer. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And we have four for our next meeting. Yay! Oh, yeah. time to go to Kylo. Go to Kylo still? What's that? You have to drink fast. Oh, you're coming.
all lights okay. out.